Hello YouTube, today I'm showing you my new open source Max browser. Um, you've seen Max Explorer V9. You know what? Now here's a portable DLL. Um, it doesn't come with all the tools and useful stuff. It's just a fast web browser, zoom, progress, everything like that. Um, I'll go more into this later. Um, it has its own Chrome bar. Which that DL will also be included with this. Um, it also is a built in search feature, feature with this, as you should know. And um, it sports Favi icons and I, it has some custom events, which I'm about to show you. Remember, this is open source. <coughs> I'll be giving out the solution in just the DL. I have the icon changed event, which even gives you the icon, so you can make useful tabs with that. And this is the function that you'll use to really start it up. Like, normally you'd put this on form one load, or let's say it's like a new tab, you'd put that in the new tab, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, so, you just have to give it the home start, which is where when they click the home page, and this is the page that it starts up on. Um, my browser has some features to add to this, so um, I'm not sure I'm gonna make this open source yet, but whatever you see on the screen, I don't care. It's not very advanced. As you see on form one load, um, I have like proxy servers and stuff, and see I have a new tab function. Notice I don't have any parentheses because the function new tab. And they're both optional for this because I use like linking and stuff. So um, if you so it'll set it to your home page, my home page and stuff, and um, it creates the browser and adds it to my MDI tab control. And you see, I I did page dot icon equals me dot icon, but that changes every time they visit another page because if I I co changed event or ICN changed event on the icon changed event on the main control. It sets the sender dot parent form dot icon equals ICO so all the forms have like their own icons for the web page. Um as a title changed event, as a quit event, as a download requested event, um it blocks the download so you can do what you want and it returns the URL on the file extension. Um, and new tab requested. It also has an ad blocked event, but it's not very useful. I just threw it in there so it do something when there was a blocked ad. Um, you might use that for something like a message box saying ad successfully blocked. What the start event does in the DLL is, um, as you see, this is what it does. It makes a web client and it downloads from my ad host list, which I which is not in the original one. It was just built in. Now now I added that since I wanted to be portable and small. Um the only problem with it is it will take a little bit more memory. Um well it wouldn't anyways, but you get my point. Um and as for the file extensions I used to just have a list in it. Um now what it does is it gets all the associated I um, it gets all the associated file types from the registry, removing all the things that you may view online. Um, so, and then it goes to the trust list, downloads the trust list, and, really, and you'll be able to change that around, add your own list, or include, just include mine and whatever you have. Um... Also, these lists will be available for download if, like, you decide to download them. They're just regular text files on my website. Um, that's the home button that goes to where you set home and start. And unfortunately, no, I have an add so you can change the home page. Um, you can do that whenever you fire the start event, I guess, but it might come up with errors and it may s double up, like, this stuff because I haven't added like well I'll do that but yeah I'm, I'm, I'll do that like right now but 
Anyways, yes, um, I just decided I'm going to make this all open source. So both these projects will be available, and yet yeah, this one done, Max Dash Explorer V10. Uh, yeah, I decided to make the newest version open source. This one's meant to be a small, compact interface with mostly... This isn't the big thing. The big thing is the DLL, really. This just this is just a bunch of add-ons and stuff. Oh, yeah, and, um... There's some other stuff in here I should show you. Um, let's see. Yeah, and uh, it has a show print, show print preview, and show properties function. Um, it does return the URL, and it returns the HTML code every single time that this um does something it'll return the html code i didn't make an event for this because i'm like what do they need to know when the html code changes um you can easily add that by adding a public event and then raising the event but i don't even know where i put it see here's the ad block event notice how i tried to put senders in the ones that needed it that way you could do dot parent form or not parent for a regular tab control and you could get a hold of the form and stuff so um yeah there's a title changed event and uh, see this is how this is how this works for each item a string and d list or download list the uh, extensions if e dot url that ends with item e dot cancel equals true x browser one dot stop raise event download requested e dot url dot to string comma item and also it exits the four to save time um i have yet to make that so it searches throughout the thing um i haven't added that feature yet because i used to have it in this but there were some problems with loading some web pages that I don't know. I don't. It was like um, yeah, who wouldn't load? But Google might, and it was really messed up. So I took that out, and I realized why. It was like it was associating all the file types and everything. So I have yet to work on that. So unfortunately, yeah, that's not quite ready yet. But yeah, these won't be available in the description immediately. Um, oh yeah, by the way, there's some contains function that I was using, I'm not sure if I'm, yeah, I'm, but, um, yeah, uh, it's not going to be available in the description immediately, because it's still in development, but if you want a copy, just send me a PM, and make sure you subscribe, and I will send you a download link, and that'll be a direct download link, it won't be any wait times or anything. That's the wonders of having your own website that you host. Um, alright, goodbye guys. If you like my video. Never gonna stop doing